Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at AMD stock. So let's do the price action analysis going into this week. Can we hit $185? Is that the target or can we also go to all time highs to 227? Is that a possibility? Well, so 227 is still way far away for well this coming week. However, Let's talk about 185, that's not that far away. Is the price action strong enough that can we go up there? Or are these supply zones that have been here from the past, are they gonna slow AMD down? What are the key levels to watch, the price action to watch for potential moves on this? So let's talk about all of that in this video. But before that, I want to let you know, none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. Please do your own thing. I'm just sharing here my opinion, nothing more than that. All right, so let's start off with just showing you a bit into my day trading bot. And you can see uh, we are net profitable. Data is on the uh, left side here on the table. And again, uh, there are red days as well, guys, but it's all about being net profitable for the last 30 trades. If you need access to my tools, links are in the description below of this video. I have two indicators and two trading bots, and that is day trading and swing trading bots, and then two other indicators that I have that you see on my videos, like automatic levels and you know uh, sentiment across different stocks, like the are uh, the bullish, bearish, and things like that. Anyways, links are in the description below of this video. All right, coming back to the daily interval. And so what is what is the thing being going on with AMD? Let's a little bit backtrack our steps here. So this is where AMD was really being choppy here. It was trying to go up, but then the supply zones over here would not let it go up every time it would sell off, right? So we had this supply zone here, right? We came back lower, tried to form another again pivot, went up ran into the supply zone over here again sold off but formed a higher pivot because buyers were coming in right and that was it and then we got a really strong green candle and since then like as you know this blue box i have been saying and even with this green candle i was talking about once this red candle came and the, with a wick down there i talked about if we get above 158 dollars level this would start to look bullish and we got that green candle and after that also, I provided this blue box and mentioned that as long as we stay above it, we are still bullish and you can see AMD has been continuing higher from there. So we do have bullish structure already in place with good pivots. You can say double bottom as or whatnot because they're very close to each other. But all in all, we do have a higher pivot as well. Now we have higher high as well. Now, first of all there are two things I want to talk about the first one is this supply zone from the previous time does this still have strength or can we continue higher and the second thing I want to talk about the levels to watch for potential trades so let's start off with the second thing and that is the uh, the, the potential trades that could be taken now AMD is full-on bullish all right as long as I'll provide you the structure on hourly interval, but as long as on the daily interval, we are above either 169 and 70 cents or 166 and 82 cents, structure on AMD is still bullish. Now, if I take you to the hourly interval, this is where we can get into some more nitty gritty details here. And you can see we have this two pivots on the intraday as for the trend line. Now you can use this trend line as to make a decision that as long as, uh, you know, intraday, if we get down to this trend line with around these one of the levels you see price start holding, then this is just a pullback and a continuation to the upside. And you will have a stop loss on the other side. As I said, as long as we don't break below 166 and 81 cents area, structure on AMD will still remain bullish. So, um, Yes, right now the supply zone I'm going to talk about in just a second. AMD right now is doing almost just, you know, just above over $7 range. So 7 times 5, if we just continue higher and higher, that is $35. So that for 5 days in a week, right? So it gets you to 185 for sure. But hey, there can be pullbacks or whatnot. But it's just what? 
uh, $14 away. So even in, if net two or three days, it just goes up with $7 average range, 185 this week is a possibility. But it all depends on if AMD can get out of the supply zone here, right? That's what we need to uh, watch. So uh, now for getting out of the supply zone, there are a couple of things that we have to watch. And for that, we have to go to the out four hours interval. Now, this supply zone was acting earlier. It reacted three times already. Now, when a supply zone, it's, it's about area of influence of the supply zone or demand zone. In this case, we're talking about the supply zone. Now, when we have close proximity of the price action to one of the recent supply zone, it has a really high influence and you can see it was affecting the price action and every time it sold off it tried to come back there got sold off and then every time it was being sold off at a lower high right then we had this this supply zone as well that was acting and its influence was second time this time it got out of that supply zone that is it, it its influence didn't affect or influence wasn't there because it wasn't in the close proximity it didn't have you know there was just more buyers guys with the strong intraday support and the bullish candles as they come came right so at this point i would say the influence of this previous supply zone is very less the first of all the proximity is quite far and plus amd has already changed the structure of these lower highs that it as it was forming that structure is already changed with a higher pivot here, right? A higher lows and the structure is intraday bullish and it has already taken out the previous lower supply zones and provided that this is already too far away and on four hours interval, I'm still seeing a strong candle. Again, as long as this trend line holds and one of these significant level holds, we are still bullish. In my opinion, the likelihood of this supply zone stopping now, AMD is limited, but nothing is guaranteed in stock market. So be prepared, but structure is bullish both on intraday and on the swing side as well. So AMD all in all is looking promising and it's a very likely possibility that $185 can come this week, but just, uh, you know, trade it carefully. Uh, all again, just like any other stock, you know, you would trade everything carefully. But um, structure on AMD can stay bullish, and um, yeah, the levels and the trend structure I provided, just trade with that. All right, guys. Well, uh, that's it for this video. And if you found it helpful, valuable, please hit the like, subscribe. And I'll see you in my next videos. Take care. Bye.